Hi, um, some of you may, not, may already know, um, when you're making any quantity of um, PCBs, you tend to make them up in panels, so you get uh, minimum handling uh, expense and, co and cost, so you get uh, maximum throughput on your production line. Now, there's generally two ways of separating PCBs from the panel. Um, one way is to use a score with these tabs on there, and these can either be cut out with cutters, or you can use a, a, a deep handling tool like this, which just basically pulls it out. And there's also me uh, mechanical, pneumatic and electric versions of these fusion high volumes. The other common method is uh, a V-scored panel. Um, this is where you've got your PCBs are rectangular without any sort of weird, weird edge shapes. Um, what this is, this is a sort of a very fine part cut through the board. So the board is actually cut part way through. So what you can then do is just simply separate it like that. Um, now that's all very fine as long as you've got a fairly thick piece of board to get hold of. For example, edge strips, you quite often have tooling strips on the edge of the board for lining up in stencil printers, also for uh, rail handing and surface mount machines. Um, and so, because you can't get much leverage, you tend to sort of need either a pair of pliers or you can maybe stick it on in a vise. Now I recently um, had calls to uh, get a load of these made. Um, these are actually very thin lead strips, they're five and a half millimetres thick on a 0.8mm PCB. Um, so I've got this panelised, ends up as uh, 96 per board, 96 basically because of the actual quantity we wanted. But the problem with this is, because the strips are so thin, you can't really manually peel these, peel them apart. You just can't get enough leverage and you, you, you can take the edge panels off um, because you've got space to get hold of them. But the actual PCBs themselves are so narrow you can't actually get hold of them um, to get some leverage on it. So after I sent these off for production I started thinking, well how am I actually going to depanelise these things? I've got um, there's about seven of these boards to do, a total of, um, sort of nearly 700 PCBs. So I started to think about how I was going to do it. Now, because this is on 0.8mm board, you can actually do it with scissors. 0.8mm, you can cut through scissors and the actual the, the scoring line does actually guide the scissors. Now the problem with that is that you tend to end up with a slightly cur curly board, which, okay, you can actually straighten it out, but it's, it's not ideal, it's a bit of a pain. Um, I just sort of started to think about, well, what sort of tool would you need to do this? Now, you can get commercial deep analyzing tools, but unfortunately the, um, the subcontractor that I used to make these didn't have one. I was sort of hunting around, at sort, of, uh, sort of maybe trying to adapt something. I actually found this. This is actually um, a stripper for ribbon cable. It's just basically a very long bladed um, tool. And this sort of works reasonably well. Um, it's a bit tricky to line the board up. Once it's lined up, uh, it will actually cut it, cut it fairly straight. The problem is the blade isn't quite long enough for the whole board, so you've got to do, do, do both sides. So it's not ideal. So I was a bit more thought, and I, I, I ended up coming up with this. Well, the nearest thing I've got to any sort of press is, uh, is my drill press. So um, I figured what I needed to do is make some sort of blade to go in there. So what, what this is, this is actually just a large bolt. I just cut a slot in it with an angle grinder, then braze this piece of uh, flat steel onto it. And I gri I ground a blade end on there, so it's, it's like about a 30 degree um, straight edge on there. And that then goes down onto, uh, this is a piece of hardwood that I've cut a V groove in. I tried a few different groove sizes to figure out what um, uh, which one was optimum, and then I'll just put a, a, like a, a backstop on there so that I can just pl put the board up um, so it would line itself up very accurately. The only other thing you had to do was to stop the, um, the shelf rotating, so I used a fairly uh, crude method of just uh, clamping the drive belt. And this actually works quite well. Obviously I can do the, the split this in half just by hand because we've got the bit of leverage, but that, that quite, comes out quite nicely. And again I can just take the ed the, these edges off because we've got, we've got some leverage. And away we go. And you can see the PCB stays nice and straight with no warping. Well that works fairly well. The problem is I was having to keep moving my hand from the, um, the lever to pick off the, uh, the, the one I just cut. So I thought, hmm, what this needs is a foot pedal. Now my hand's now free. I can get a much faster repeat rate. And after a bit of practice and get a bit of rhythm going, actually get a pretty decent speed out of this.
and all done. 